What's going on YouTube, 0088 here, and we've had some new leaked images of Avengers 4. Still no title yet though, it's a madness we ain't got no title. But yeah, let's go through these leaked images now, quote unquote leaked. I swear somebody at Marvel's doing this on purpose for hype. Yo, so many things were leaked today as well, weird, I guess it's the same guy. But anyway, the first image is uh, Thor holding Stormbreaker. And as you can see here, he um, looks pretty much the same as he did in Infinity War. Looks like how exactly how he did uh, when he came out of the Bifrost. Uh, hopefully Stormbreaker won't be too OP in this film because in uh, Infinity War he managed to cut through six stones and a fully powered Thanos. It's just kind of weird. I, I get it. Stormbreaker was made by the same material as the Gauntlet, so it could withstand the power of the Infinity Stones, especially a generic beam from Thanos. But if that's the case, then I hope Thanos uses the stones a lot better in Avengers 4. Next image is Iron Man all blurred out. And if you can sort of make it, I don't know why they blurred it out, but the guy leaked it, clearly didn't want to leak it too much. I don't know what's going on. But anyway, if you can see here, clearly like Iron Man's uh, got the... He's, he looks kind of like an old school version of Iron Man, especially the blur makes you see it a bit clearer as well, actually. If you look at the images of Iron Man from the comic books, the early comics, he looks like his third incarnation where he had the basic red center and the golden arms. He's even got the muscle definition there, almost like, you know, the weird iron suit of the comics where his suit would just cling on to, would be like some kind of weird metal that would somehow look like he's wearing leather or, or like Spider-Man's type of clothing or something. I don't know, it's weird. But anyway, it looks like classic Iron Man. There's more classic Iron Man, see even the legs have got it. Uh, this is the, the legs are the classic, the boots, everything. It looks like a classic Iron Man, it looks awesome, man. It looks sick, I'm excited for that, so I can't wait to see what's gonna happen there. Um, and there's a close-up of his chest. You can see here, more definition in the arm. He's giving himself muscles, and to be honest, after the beating Thanos gave Tony in Infinity War, I would feel insecure enough to make my next Iron Man suit have muscles too. But it looks also, it looks so old to the point where it it looks like it doesn't it doesn't it doesn't look like nanotech to me. I mean, sure you could say his other suit doesn't really look much like nanotech, but because it's such this is a lot thicker than his suit in Infinity War. So, like, I don't know, it just looks thicker to me than his suit in Infinity War. So, it makes you feel like it's not nanotech, but I'm, I'm sure it still is. Maybe it's going back to his uh, arm, armor of Iron Man 1, or maybe, maybe not do that far back, but Avengers, like, you can suit up from a briefcase or whatever, but I doubt he'd go back in technology like that. Futurists like Tony Stark, Technology whores like Tony Stark would never go back on technology like that. Next image is, ooh, her expression, the expressionless Brie Larson, apparently. You know what, honestly, usually I'm on the side of the anti-SJW people, but on this one, I actually think all this Brie Larson needs to smile slash have more expression is overblown. Like when I, you guys saw my reaction, people were surprised my channel. If you haven't seen my reaction, check out my reaction to um, Captain Marvel trailer. Brie Larson, I, I don't, I think all this criticism of her not smiling or showing expression is way overblown. Or maybe, I mean, some people have said the media is overblowing it more than it needs to be. But then I feel like a lot of the anti-SJW people on YouTube and uh, social media and whatnot are also adding flames to the fire by responding to the media. But, you know, people got to get their money and stuff. But my opinion is I thought it was fine. I don't really care. I don't really notice that she didn't have much expression in the trailer. Um, though I can see it. I can see what people are saying. Don't get me wrong. She looks pretty cool in this picture, though, maybe because she's more modernized and her suit looks more fitting than the suit in the Captain Marvel film looks a bit loose on her, you know? Remember, you guys all remember that infamous picture of her with no ass and Tom Holland somehow having more ass than her? It's mad. But anyway, yeah. Yeah, she looks looks like Captain Marvel. Hopefully she has a bit more expression in the movie. We'll see. Um, and there's, there you go. There's a good example of expression. Two female characters there side by side. And you see Black Widow. Uh, she's got the long hair, 
long hair don't care she's got a bit of blonde down there so you can see that her hair is just she's obviously grown out her hair and they had a little bit of blonde hair where it was still blonde before so she hasn't bothered to like wash the dye out of her hair or anything like that i guess that must be some strong dye so i'm assuming some time has skipped since infinity war but her hair seems to say otherwise i don't know I don't know how, how hair dye works. I don't have any hair, so <laughs> I've never dyed my hair before. So I don't know how hair dye works. But yeah, she's looking good, you know, the whole Scott Johnson lips going on and all that. So <laughs> I don't know what else to say. It looks like old school Black Widow here. I would have wished she had her short hair from the comics. Basically, Scott Johnson's real hair in real life. But, um, you know, because during the Infinity Gauntlet storyline, Black Widow had short red hair, which would have been pretty cool. And it would have gone with the whole complaints that all the female characters have long hair and they're fighting. I don't get that weird complaint. And that's what, I don't know if that's why they gave her uh, pigtails. Though that can still be pulled in battle as well. Stupid complaint, if you ask me. But I don't know. Cool look. Next thing, Captain America. We've got Captain America, who uh, seems to be in his scale mail armor here. This is really cool. Classic Cap, and some people have said we've got classic Iron Man, we've got classic Cap, so there must be something going on here with, um, with these two characters, because they're, like, they're probably the faces, the biggest faces of the MCU, and they're wearing the most classic stuff. He's got rid of the beard, he's got the helmet on, and there's some other pictures that have been released, but I haven't got them on me right now, and where you can see he's got the helmet on. Uh, so what I'm thinking is, some, someone suggested this as well, that... Maybe they're making them look as classic and as original as they can be because this is going to be their last outing. We're probably never going to see Tony Stark in the MCU again. Probably will. but And we're most likely not going to see Captain America in the MCU again. So they're giving us a last hurrah. But here's the big question. Where the hell is Captain America's shield? What the hell is going on? Why is he not... In every promotional picture, even the old leaked pictures from a few months back, there's Captain America still hasn't got his shield. If he's working with Tony Stark... Again, why wouldn't Tony Stark just give him the shield back? Does he still feel, maybe Tony tried to give it to him and Cap's like, I don't deserve it. I still don't deserve it. You were right. Like, I, don't, I still don't deserve the shield. Or maybe um, Cap asked for it back and Tony says you don't deserve it. Maybe their friendship is still rocky, even though they're working together. They're just having like a forced partnership at the moment. But I feel like that's, that'll be lame. Um, obviously, what I'm thinking is it's going to probably be that, actually, the forced partnership. And then at the middle of the film is where they realise they kiss and make up because I guess they want the audience to see Tony and uh, Steve reconcile on screen. So it'll be kind of a cheat for them to have reconciled off screen and their best buddies at the start of Avengers 4. We'd have to see them reconcile on screen. So that's probably why he hasn't got his shield in the promotional work. Uh, well, he probably will have it, definitely should have it by the end of the movie. Or, or... It could be that Tony Stark has made him a shield, but it's the classic shield from the comics, the hologram shield. I mentioned this in my previous uh, analysis of the uh, leaked pictures. It might just be the hologram shield, but I, I don't see any gadgets or anything on his arm that looks like he could have a hologram shield. And if Tony does give him back his shield, I hope it's his classic shield, not the hologram shield. I think the time for the hologram shield has passed now. That should have been something for Infinity War. And I don't know why Black Panther didn't give him a circular shield in Infinity War. These those weird Wakandan shields he gave him. I don't know what's going on there. But anyway, uh, yeah, I guarantee he'll get his shield back. Tony and Steve probably going to be uh, at each other's throats at the beginning of Avengers 4. And we'll see them gradually make up in the middle of the movie. So we'll have enough time with them seeing buddies at the end of the movie. Uh, there's War Machine all decked out like crazy. Look at that. I tried to zoom in, that didn't work. But anyway, War Machine decked out like crazy. He is, <laughs> after his encounter with Thanos, he obviously said, Tony, look, if you're going to make me another War Machine suit, give me more armor. He always wants more, more, more. He's literally the War Machine. He thinks more is better, bigger is better. Uh, Tony obviously thinks sleeker is better, but yeah, different guys. Um... I don't know how this is going to help him against Thanos. Thanos will still crush him just the same, maybe even worse with all this armor on. But it looks cool, looks badass, looks like he's ready to take on anything else Thanos can dish at him, like maybe other minions, Black Orders, or whatever else Thanos has got. Maybe Ebony Moore is still alive somewhere. He was in space, we don't know what Ebony Moore's uh, genetical makeup make, 
is he might be able to survive in space. Who knows? I feel like Ebony Moore was cut short too early. They gave him the most lines out of all the characters, I think. Proxy Midnight had quite a few lines, but I feel like Ebony Moore was meant to be like a bigger thing. Maybe he's the, uh, since Loki died, I doubt they're going to bring him back. Or maybe they might use classic Loki because they're going back in time in this film. I don't know. But so since Loki died, I feel like Ebony Moore could be the Mephisto of um, this movie. And if you want to know who Mephisto is, Mephisto is basically Thanos' right-hand man during the Infinity Gauntlet saga who later turns on him. I can't imagine Ebony Moore turning on Thanos. I don't know how crazy Thanos will go in this movie. Um, but yeah, um, we'll see. Next image is... Uh, a blurry image of Hawkeye as Ronin. I don't know too much about Ronin from the comics, to be honest, but it's good to see some more of Hawkeye. He probably goes rogue and goes Ronin after the disappearance of his family. You know for a fact all of his family got dis got disappeared by Thanos at the end of Avengers. We didn't see it. We haven't seen anything about it yet, but you know that's what's going to make Hawkeye come out of hiding. Maybe he's Ronin because he's on house arrest, probably a worse house arrest than uh, uh, Scott Lang. So he has to be running to hide from the police. Uh, and obviously, I'm sure Hawkeye has a way of getting rid of um, the ankle bracelet. Or if not, maybe Ronin's a secret agent of the government. Maybe he's working for the government because it's the only deal they would give him uh, in order to not, I don't know, send him to jail or ruin his family or something. Anyway, and here's some more images of Brie Larson. And if you, I know it's kind of blurry, but look at that. Look at how, um, you can see my mouse there. Look at how tight and shapely the costume is. It looks much better. Look, I know it sounds perverted or whatever, whatever SJW thing you can think of that a woman shouldn't have tight body suits, but Captain America's suit is tight on his body as well. Yeah, so, and it looks like I can't really make it out. It looks like she's got more of a bone if that's actually her. I don't know if it's some kind of rendering, or maybe it's not even really her. But it looks like a cool Captain Marvel outfit. It looks way better than it, uh, the one in the Captain Marvel movie looks, where it looks a bit loose and baggy on her. And here's Thanos. Obviously, we can't... Oops, went lost it there. Obviously, we can't see uh, Thanos clearly in this image. It's all blurry, but he's got the armor similar to what he was wearing in the other leaked image. Some people said that the leaked image of Thanos could be fake, but this one clearly proves it was real. Uh, you can see that he has a sword, maybe even two swords here. Can't really make it out. And he's got his armor, which is... But he's still got his arms out. I don't know why they want to show his arms. Like, I guess they thought him in full armor would look too silly or was too much too weird to animate, maybe. So they gave him his bare arms showing. But I'm just glad he's got a helmet on. So it's like classic Thanos from the comics. And he's got his armor. I'm so excited to see this Thanos in Avengers 4. I feel like this Thanos may even be the Thanos from the comics that goes a bit mad, crazy. The Thanos we had in Infinity War was very, you know, calm and, you know, he had his goals set and he was reasonable. He didn't even really murder that many people. He murdered a lot of people, but he didn't murder for murder's sake. He just murdered people that was in his way or that pissed him off. But now I feel like this Thanos, this Thanos could be the Thanos from a bit closer to the comics where he's more aggressive and more arrogant and the Thanos that loses. We had the intelligent Thanos in Infinity War. This might be the Thanos that gets a bit too arrogant and which will be uh, his downfall as long as they don't make Captain Marvel just stare him with her expressionist face and kill him off just by looking at him. Hopefully not the case. And that's it. That's all the images, I believe. The leaked images I've gone through. Those are my thoughts. Um, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. I uh, can't wait for Avengers 4. Hurry up, Marvel, and release the goddamn title of this thing, man. What's going on? Uh, yeah, so yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Subscribe, give me a like, hit notification bell for notifications, and I'll see you again. Peace.